Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing okay. Uh, before we go on, obviously, I want to uh, wish everybody okay uh, a very happy and healthy uh, Thanksgiving. Okay, uh, if you are. Uh, trading tomorrow. That's great. If you're not, um, again, take the day off. Again, very, very busy time of the year. Uh, people are traveling. Uh, people are enjoying themselves, loved ones, all that good stuff. And again, that's the name of the game. That's the whole point. So if you are uh, trading tomorrow, I will be trading tomorrow. I think, I think we have a window of about two hours or so, two and a half hours. And you kind of saw what happened today uh, after lunchtime, like the volume just dies. The volume dies and you know, all, all the interest is, is gone till the next day. And I think tomorrow, um, yeah, I think we'll have probably a couple of hour window. If you are trading, um, I want to trade probably to around lunchtime and see how, uh, the day goes. Um, and, and again, if, it, if it's any indication, uh, what we saw today for tomorrow's session, then I think we should have enough value for tomorrow's session, uh, at least in the morning to kind of make hay, uh, and then kind of enjoy, um, the Thanksgiving festivity. So uh, again, happy Thanksgiving day. So uh, let's talk about today. Again, just like from last night's video, um, sometimes you don't need to uh, get too creative. You know, um, you know, you don't have to overthink. The market is very, very strong right now. Um, we just keep on melting up. The strong stocks that we talked about yesterday uh, going into today's session, for example, like the Amazons of the world, they continue to be stronger. Stocks like Tesla, for example, uh, that we gave every reason uh, that the stock is going to continue to go lower today. Went. We'll talk about that obviously in a few minutes. So there, there wasn't a lot of you know mind-numbing uh, events that happened today. Nothing macro. No crazy tweets. No crazy uh, economic um, blips on the radar. It was just what it is. A holiday shortened week. Um, some good value today. We had some pretty uh, good strong pivots. Um, the stocks that confirmed when pretty seamlessly from, you know, Tesla to uh, KRTX to Amazon to shop, which had one of the bigger moves uh, of the day. And again, sometimes you don't need to overthink. You don't need to dissect things. You just kind of roll with it, right? Just roll with it. You don't need to um, sit there and try to figure out nine different ways from Tuesday what is happening. If you have eyeballs, you can see uh, materialistically we're okay. We're all time highs. Uh, again, what's going to happen towards uh, the end of the year? You know, again, you can only speculate, but again, for now, uh, things are going well. So tomorrow, um, I expect probably another continuation day, especially in the names uh, like Amazon. Okay, Amazon is a big, big move today. Uh, probably sees more uh, upside. Uh, Tesla, again, we'll, and again, we'll talk about the individual pivots from today. We'll probably see more downside tomorrow. Uh, and again, uh, like we say all the time, Keep it simple, stupid, right? Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Again, there's a lot of times we give little tidbits here and there to traders. Um, you know, they try to help traders out kind of in their general direction for longevity. And just tonight, you know, we're just talking about keep it meat and potatoes. Keep it simple. Uh, wait for the confirmations tomorrow. Get in, get out. That's what she said. Um, and that's it. Go enjoy your turkey. That's the name uh, of the game. So without you know, a single, you know, more moment to waste because I know a lot of you guys are kind of winding down uh, for the evening. Again, let's talk about today. Uh, again, pretty basic stuff. And again, it's the same names over and over and over again. And that's why there's really not uh, a lot of surprises when they do confirm, uh, when they do, um, you know, when they do uh, second entry comes along, you get a second way of buying and selling. Usually the directional bias will uh, play out. There actually was a little bit of a tidbit that I, I, I did put on the feed today um, for traders, just for traders in general, depending what your uh, depending what your strategy is. And again, this was just kind of a general statement. Uh, but I said depending long or short, just kind of a, a point of, of, of reference, consider entering sales at whole numbers. Okay, for anybody who's been with me, in the live webinar for over over nine years, you kind of know the majority of my trades 
are done in whole numbers just because that represents the most market participants, both retail and institutional. Uh, you're going to have the most liquidity there. And depending, again, what your strategy is, if nothing at all, especially for a new trader that's looking for cash flow, if nothing at all, that whole number entry, both long or short, will represent the high probability uh, of good cash flow. And if you believe in whatever process you trade, that should result in any, any matter, at least a good directional way for you to enter the trade and kind of manage it from that area. Just kind of a tip it is, again, I've been trying to enter at whole numbers uh, for years and years and years. It's just been uh, a better way to kind of gauge which way uh, the buyers or sellers that have control in our situation control of the pivot uh, in different situations, obviously, depending on your stock uh, specific strategy. So uh, today, you know, again, pretty solid, pretty solid session with a lot of pivots, uh, a lot of people doing very, very well. And that's the whole point. Uh, BYND, we talked about that 76 level, uh, obviously never even tested there. I actually like BYND for tomorrow. Um, it's crazy to say, again, I traded this thing several times last week to the upside. You know, if this channel can just get, you know, get confirmed, you never know, right? You never know. I know I know a lot of people are craving that non-meatless meat for Thanksgiving, but nevertheless, if this channel here confirms, uh, you know, you could get a couple of dollar move. Nothing wrong with that. So I want to kind of watch it uh, for tomorrow, but obviously today it, it didn't it didn't do anything. Uh, Tesla, we talked about uh, yesterday how uh, I thought the stock got rejected off the ugly design uh, of the truck, got rejected yesterday, almost went red about... Um, about the theory of um, orders, right? Pre-orders uh, pre for the truck. Nobody cared, nobody cared, and they sold the stock off. We talked about this 330 level. If it builds below, it can flush. We talked about 330. Uh, there's a shot it could get to 330, and I said there's a shot it could get to 326, and yada, yada, yada. This is why uh, technical analysis is so damn cool, right? So here was uh, the 334 on the daily. Here was a 3.30, right? Here was a 3.30, and it went all the way down. I said 2.26 2, 2 and a half in the live webinar. Uh, here is your here. I thought I was going to get to 2.26 and a half. It got to uh, 27.10. Shoot me. Uh, again, basic technical analysis, and this is why uh, TA is so good, because, again, nobody needs to sit there and hold your hand. If you believe in any process, especially uh, that charts don't lie, sometimes they don't tell you the truth, but charts don't lie. Uh, I think it's a great way to control your emotions, control your risk, and have a vivid picture in front of you before you allocate uh, risk. So again, you can see it here. If it starts confirming down tomorrow, uh, there is room to the downside. So if, if you are uh, Tesla permeable, you better hope uh, today's price action doesn't confirm. But nevertheless, a uh, really strong move on uh, Tesla today. Uh, Netflix again, you know, you know, again, Netflix. It's just this, it's just the same story every single time. It gets stronger. Uh, every single time it gets stronger, uh, there's some sort of Disney headline. You saw the headline today. I think they were doing like a million subscribers a day. And obviously, again, it's going to affect Netflix, but it held up. It held up. Uh, it tested that 316 level, never confirmed. So I still like it. I really do. Uh, Amazon, again, we, we, we discussed. If you watch these videos um, day after day after day, you kind of see the thought process every single day. And I said, this thing's going to go $2 million worth of bet last Friday. They made their bets ahead of Black Friday. And again, this is a you know, beautiful job, beautiful job by the Bulls. Uh, great job for all you guys who took it. We talked about that 1780 pivot, right? 1780 pivot on Amazon. I said there was you know, a shot to get into the 1790s. That's exactly where it stopped, 1790s. Uh, if you look for tomorrow, and again, you, again, your eyes don't lie. And again, you believe in the theory that stocks go from supply to supply and demand to demand. Uh, again, this thing starts confirming today's price action tomorrow. You know, there's a shot it gets to this 815 level, and then ultimately after Cyber, you know, after Cyber Monday's open, you know, you could have a move to 1840. But again, instead of putting the cart in front of the horse, uh, you know, set, you know, 1800 or so tomorrow should get to 1814 on Amazon. Uh, Nvidia never, you know, never got there. Uh, Boeing never got there. GPT, uh, I, I wasn't even watching GPT honestly, but I saw the move. The spike, it was a couple of dollar move. Here's GBT, and again, here's where we got the $68 level for. Uh, here's the GBT, right? And I said, if it, could, if it reclaims 68, it can go, you know, what, almost to 70. If you got a piece of that, God, God bless. I had no interest in this thing, so I wasn't even watching it. Uh, Shop was the, definitely the biggest move of the day. Um, awesome move. I mean, absolutely awesome move. And you can hear it by my voice. I'm just exhausted. Uh, but Shop, we talked about the levels 320, 322, 3, uh, 326. 
Uh, I said once I started reclaiming, especially at 326, had a shot at 332, 333, and shop went nuts. I mean, absolutely nuts. I still like it for tomorrow. Um, just went nuts. So here is the 320 sneaky, right? Here's the 320 sneaky. Here was the 322. Here was the 326, and it just exploded. Just absolutely exploded. Uh, it went to 338. Just an absolute monster move on Shopify. Um, so huge move there. Big big move there as well. Uh, so again, again, we we know we demonstrate the pivots to the long side. We demonstrate pivots to the short side. Uh, we talked about this uh, KRTX. You know, we said, hey, you know, I I, I think there's a shot if it, if it concern if it confirms has a shot to get down to the 77, uh, 70, 71 area, the 7750, 77, if it builds below, it can flush. Again, here's KRTX. Again, it's pretty basic, um, you know, pretty basic technical analysis. Uh, the low of this rising channel was 7750. So once it started bre breaking below uh, the 7750, 77, it went right down pretty much to the lows of the day today at 72. Uh, probably goes to 70 bucks tomorrow before any type of uh, bounce. So great job. I mean, absolutely great job. Uh, for those who got that as well, uh, Tesla we talked about, shop we talked about, new lows. Uh, as you can see, again, pretty pretty productive day, monster, ridiculous, blah, 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 all these adjectives to use. Um, and that was it. I mean, that was it. Uh, this was the, you know, this was the watch list going into last night, right? Uh, again, no surprises. Alibaba, although Alibaba gapped, there's no way you would have got filled in 91. Uh, FLXN went up about 20, 25 cents. Uh, BLMN, I wasn't even watching this thing. BLMN, uh, what would we say? 2380, 24, it still didn't trigger yet, that 24 area. And Tesla was on there, obviously. Uh, Boeing, yeah, again, Facebook. Facebook, I caught, I caught, to say I caught this thing. Um, I, I tried to bounce Facebook, okay? It went down. I tried to bounce Facebook. It went down. You know, 20, 30 cents away from my entry, got above, started rallying back up. It was up about 40 cents or so. And then it went back down and then it went back up and then it went back down. So I wound up making like 30, 35 cents on some and then I broke even on the rest. And then the stock just tanked. It's just, just Facebook is such a weird stock. It really is. It just really is such a weird stock. Uh, you got to have the ultimate brain capacity to trade this thing. Uh, one day it looks great and in the next six days you want to just kind of blow your brains out. Uh, but it is what it is. So again, I, again, I expect kind of, uh, you know, I expect the same type of value we saw today uh, for yesterday, for tomorrow's session. Again, um, I will be trading at least till lunchtime. And then depending how uh, the day falls out, uh, maybe a little later, maybe a little more. But again, I think once like lunchtime rolls around, um, you know, once lunchtime rolls around, I, I, I do think it will be uh, completely a ghost town. Okay, I'll be a completely ghost town for tomorrow. Uh, so let me give you guys, uh, let's talk about tomorrow, right? Let's talk about tomorrow. Uh, some ideas, uh, for tomorrow's, uh, tomorrow's session. Let me start out with, let me see here. Uh, let me start out with the stock SP. I, I don't know what this SP is, but it actually looks pretty damn good, right? It, it had this really, really big run at the end of October into November and kind of came in, held the fort. Uh, today, first close, uh, over... Uh, supply. Okay. And again, first close over the 10 day moving average. Again, if you've ever watched the workshop and all that cool stuff, uh, you know, that the 10 day moving average is for me, the birth of the trade. So keep an eye on this thing. I don't know what this thing is, but, um, keep an eye on it. Uh, put in a high today of 44.84. The high here is 44.98. Uh, if it starts building about 45, you could start your, your next leg up to the highs, especially if you, all you guys who are swinging your position. So keep an eye on S. Uh, P. Um, I like, you know, I like this. Congratulations part. for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 vault where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.